Hello and welcome to Zula La. Oh yes, it's the one you've been waiting for. It's the Movember special. This month, you may have noticed a remarkable number of moustache-wielding men, including myself. Well, it's November and moustaches, so it's Movember. In fact, when we took Bugface on the road recently, there were sometimes clashes between the bugs and the tashes. You see what I did there? There was clashes and tashes. It just scratching. <laughs> While some men do it to look cool and manly, obviously I don't need one, but why does this fuzzy facial feature crop up in nature? In fact, when you start to look around, from tigers to manatees, sea otters to desmonds, you begin to realise almost the only mammal not sporting a pair of whiskers permanently is us. Take Mog here. Sure enough, his whiskers aren't as noticeable as a cat's and aren't as flamboyant as a shrew's, but they definitely do exactly the same job. Whiskers aren't just long hairs, they're specialised feelers that help unravel the world around them. Just like a blind person with a cane, Mog here uses his whiskers to sense objects around him in complete darkness. Very useful if you're a nocturnal animal. In fact, if you clip the dog's whiskers, they become a lot more unsure in dim light. Of course, dogs aren't the only animals that use their whiskers to sense the world around them. Seals and their relatives also use their tash. Oh, oh. Even nursing youngsters are rocking a fantastic mo. With up to 1,600 nerve endings in each whisker, their moustache is so sensitive it can locate moving fish by following the tiny currents in the water left by the fish's wake. Picking up changes of speed as little as 0.25 millimeters per second, they can detect a fish up to 35 seconds after it swam past. Thanks to their moustache, even a blind seal can be perfectly well-fed and healthy. Now that's one clever mo. So whiskers seem like a good idea if you live in the dark or need to map the world around you. But what about if you don't need that? Take for example the Emperor Tamarin. They mainly eat nectar and tree sap, food that hardly requires super sensitive whiskers to get hold of. And they're active during the day so they wouldn't really need a moustache to navigate in the darkness. So maybe it's a sexy feature, a bit like a peacock's tail feathers. What do you reckon ladies? Manly enough for you? Well, maybe this is the case in some species, but in the Emperor Tamarin, both the male and the female have moustaches. So it's probably not this either. Perhaps it's simply a striking way to recognise your own species, so the Tamarin know exactly which group to hang out with. That might explain why men with moustaches are often seen hanging out with each other. Or maybe they simply just don't have a choice. We hope you've enjoyed the Zulala special. Hats off to all you hairy men and women out there. And not to forget, animals of course. Thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you next time on Zulala. They can use their whiskers to scent... <laughs> He's gone. To sense objects. <laughs> Just like a blind person with a cane. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.